D. Citizens' duties. Why can't we have only rights and no duties? It is often said that rights and duties are two sides of the same coin. Do you know what it means? Let us take an example. Right to equality means that men and women must have equal status and equal treatment. Does this happen in real life? Unless all members of society respect this right and fulfill the duty of treating women as equal, this right will never fully come into being. Therefore, it is the duty of every citizen not to engage in domestic violence against women and to oppose ill-treatment of women, because women are not treated equally, and practice of female foeticide is prevalent. Is it not a duty to respect women as equal citizens? You will now understand why duties are important for the fulfillment of rights. Just as society must respect our rights, society expects that we accept certain responsibilities as our duties. Some duties are listed in the Constitution as a fundamental duties. These include to respect the Constitution, to respect national flag and national anthem, to protect the country, to adopt a feeling of brotherhood towards all citizens of India, to protect the environment, to adopt a scientific approach, etc. Is there punishment if these duties are not performed? Ecological Balance Human beings are dependent on environment for air, water, trees and minerals. If we use these natural resources indiscriminately, that leads to environmental degradation, our present generation may be happy to use as many trees as it can cut down, but what will happen to later generations? Already, over-exploitation of natural resources is leading to crises such as drop in rainfall, rise in temperature, and many other environmental hazards. This only shows the importance of duties. It is not our duty to use the natural resources carefully, Think of others and think of our future generations. Activity Obtain a copy of the Constitution of India and make a list of fundamental duties. Discuss in your class why these duties are important. I can now see the link between rights and duties. Unless we are bound by the duty to protect our environment, how can later generations enjoy the benefits of forests and fresh air and other natural resources? Right to Equality Democratic government means that the government is not arbitrary. It works according to rules and regulations. But what if rules were only applied to some people and not to some others? it would still be an arbitrary government. Therefore, there must be the same rules for everyone. This is the principle of equality before laws. Our constitution guarantees that all persons will be treated equally by the government. Equality means that persons will not be treated differently just because of the gender, religion or caste, etc. Right to equality also means that everyone will get equal opportunities. Remember that there are many inequalities in our society, and to remove those inequalities is the objectives of our constitution. Therefore, it is the responsibility of the government not only to treat all persons equally, but to implement policies that will bring equality in our social relations. You may have heard about reservation of seats in school and college admissions for women or persons of weaker sections. This is an example of government's efforts to bring equality. Right to equality does not mean only equal legal treatment. It also means that groups which are backward and traditionally discriminated against 
must get the opportunity to develop themselves and become equal in the true sense. Thus, right to equality puts a responsibility on the government to remove injustice and inequality. Right to Freedom of Religion In India, people follow different religious practices. But the government does not support or oppose any religion. Every person is free to follow any religion and pray according to her or his religion and also propagate their religion. The government will not differentiate between persons of different religions only on ground of their religion. And because there is no religion which is the official religion of a country, government or government-aided institutions will not force us to follow any particular religious practice. Government also does not itself preach any religion or give religious education in schools aided by it.